Welcome back to another round of the Grassroots Hard Enduro Championship. This weekend we are near Corion and the race is the Kosciuszko Killer. So it's pretty fresh weather overnight. Got down to about 6 degrees but the sun is out this morning. And she's quite warm but it's pretty dusty already. Before we get into the riding, let's take a quick walk around the prologue track. Every track builder puts their own unique twist on the prologue course. The Kosciuszko Killer is no exception here. A lot of thought has gone into some of the obstacles on this course, with some new and interesting ways to confuse the riders. While these obstacles aren't scary, and there's very low risk of death or injury, they do require an extra level of thought and planning before you attack the obstacle. These logs here are a great example of smart planning by the track builders. From a distance they look very simple, but once you get up close, you find that the logs are elevated, they're on an angle, and there's also less than one bike wheelbase gap between the logs. Super awkward to get through. The rockery shown here is another great example of a simple but challenging obstacle. Stop in the bottom and you can't put your feet on the ground. Stop on the top and your bike gets grounded out. Another simple obstacle here, the fast guys can clear the whole lot, whereas the slow guys need to be careful to not go over the bars. Here we are at the start of the Silver Prologue session, and as you can see, once the red mist drops, it's hard to keep everyone organised. I've decided to wait until the very end of the Silver Group to do my run of the Prologue Corps. This helps me to avoid a bottleneck at the very first obstacle, the Log Matrix. messed up this log obstacle. I should have tried to keep all the way to the left, but being impatient I ended up taking the line on the right hand side which stuffed me up for the rest of the logs. Lesson learned. As you can see, I do stick to my standard theory of slow and steady, get you over the line. Oh, my God. 
Grab. this corner into the first hill climb section because I was going so slow I didn't have any momentum to get up past the first line of stopped bikes. This gives me two options I can either turn around and have a go at getting a run up or I can chip away in first gear and zigzag my way up the hill. Because there were so many bikes laid on the ground and crossed over the track I thought it would be a safer option for me to take a trail up the side and tackle the hill slowly slowly. You're probably not going to win any races choosing lines like this, but at least it gives me some security knowing that I can pick my way up to the top of the hill eventually.
the bike boiled over, I wasn't sure if I'd blown a radiator cap or popped a radiator hose off the bike. So on the downhill runs, I turned the motor off so that I didn't make the motor any hotter. Thanks for watching.